my name is Brian Isaac, and I'm with Milwaukee Valve Company. And today we're going to discuss the difference between a rubber seeded butterfly and a high performance butterfly. Both of these products are offered by Milwaukee Valve Company, but they have differences that need to be noted, and basically they have to be selected based on the application for the particular valve and the service. Number one, what is the pressure rating and the temperature of the service the valve will be operating in? What is the longevity of the service of the valve that you require? And what is the actual service that you're really going to need for this product? So those are the first main questions you need to address. After that, you want to look at what are the major differences between the two valves. Number one, the material constructions of the two valves. The rubber seated valves, which is the least expensive, is usually made with a cast iron body. It has a disc, which could be aluminum bronze, stainless steel, or ductile iron. It has the rubber liner, which is the seating material, which is governed by the temperature of the product that's going to be running through it. Normally, the limitations of the rubber seated valve is about 200 psi on pressure and about 300 degrees maximum on temperature if you use a special liner such as Viton. On the high performance butterfly valve, if you look at the material, it's a normally high temperature material such as cast, steel, or stainless steel material. The disc material is CF8M or 316 stainless. And the liner or the seat is this white area, which is Teflon. It could be either RPTFE, which is reinforced Teflon, or PFTFE, which is virgin Teflon. So this valve here would give you a service rating of anywhere from 285 PSI up to 740 PSI with a maximum temperature range of 400 degrees. Now there's a lot of similarities between the two valves. Number one, they're both a quarter turn operation, which means there's a quarter turn between open and close of the valve. The second similarity is the disc. The disc will impinge into the seat area on the rubber seated valve and on the high performance valve. One of the major differences between the two valves is the location of the disc. On the high performance, this is called a double offset seat design where the disc is actually off the center line of the valve, which gives you a very low torque in the seating area and a very low torque once the valve's in operation. One of the major differences on the rubber seated is this is what we call a concentric seat valve, where actually the seat is based on jamming the disc or impinge the disc into the actual rubber, which actually gives us the seal. One of the limitations of this design is that if you're running on very high temperatures and very low temperature where the temperature could swing either way, this tendency has to make the liner get a little bit stiffer over the years. So your torque has a tendency to rise, which makes the valve a little bit more difficult to operate over longevity. Whereas the high performance, as we talk about the offset design, the seat actually cams away from the disc. So when you open the valve, there's very low torque and it's not a much chance is the seat deformation over longevity when you have high temperature, low temperature, low pressure, and high pressure swings. So this is a better valve for longevity. This is a more economical valve, but they will both work in the service as long as they're selected properly for the application. My name is Brian Isaac from Milwaukee Valve, and we just discussed how to select the proper valve based on the application between the Milwaukee Valve High Performance and the Milwaukee Valve Resilient Seated Butterfly Valve.